Ada Emiaboni was a mythical character. He is said to have cured ailments and journeyed in space. He couldn't look at human remains or shake women's hands. He also had bees in his cap, which got him in a lot of trouble. In 1945, Ada Emiaboni was crowned king of the Igala kingdom. He had received minimal formal education. Ada's major goal was to construct roads and schools. The king attended a summit in Kaduna in the 1950s. Many African kings were present, including Queen Elizabeth. As they greeted the queen, all of the other kings removed their caps. But Otto rejected because it went against his tradition. He couldn't remove his cap in public since he was king. He was also barred from seeing the deceased. Shaking hands with ladies was also frowned upon. Furthermore, Otto's people regarded him as a god. As a result, bowing to any person was considered an insult. Other monarchs, however, began to threaten King Otta. So the monarch defied convention and attempted to bow before the queen. When he removed his headgear, a swarm of bees emerged. They swarmed the meeting room. Although everyone was evacuated, some persons were still stung. Otta was detained at the request of other leaders. His handcuffs, legend has it, dropped off his hands. Otta vanished from the room where he was being detained. He directed his driver to return home alone. Otta urged him not to look back till the car had a cool wind. The driver eventually felt the breeze. Then he noticed King Otta appear beside him. Of sure, it sounds like a fairy tale. However, the Igala held a firm belief in King Otta's magical abilities. Otta is said to be able to curse people and heal ailments. His village was previously plagued by a jigger outbreak. People's toes were being eaten away by the sickness. Many people were unable to work or walk. So King Otto ordered the sickness to vanish, which it apparently did. Then there was the story of him chasing a wild beast away. Someone was robbing people from the village. Otto cursed it, and it was never seen again on Igala territory. The demise of the king was even more upsetting. His adversaries allegedly set him up. The Igala people celebrated various cultural events. One of them, Ocho, was honored before to the start of the farming season. The Igala would pray for rain, harvest, and hunting success. They held their annual festival celebration in 1956. The Igala customarily had King Otto hunt a wild animal that year. He then offered it up to the ancestors. There were, however, two traders among the Igala. They were working for the northern region's other leaders. These people intended to depose King Otto. So they devised a heinous plan, to write a petition to the Queen saying that Otto practices human sacrifice. According to reports, the Crown has initiated an investigation. King Otto believed his reign had come to an end. He committed suicide before becoming dethroned. The investigation's findings were delivered some time later. Otto had utilized animal blood, according to the blood sample. But the beloved King had already left.